Good morning. I am Christy, co-founder of Christy Fair Art Studio, and uh, I live in Ajijic, Jalisco, Mexico. And uh, my goal is to uh, record my uh, um, warm-ups that I do every day by sketching or painting something really quick. Today, um, from my morning walk, I picked up these beautiful orange flowers and um, I am starting um, sketching with a Sharpie or a gel pen. This particular one, it's a red dot pen that I picked up as at Office Depot. And um, I started by looking at the structure of the leaf and the structure of the flower. So the flowers are, come, are growing in little bunches um, of orange and they have a tubular shape. At the end, they have three petals that are turning outward. My uh, goal here is to capture the overall feeling of the flower. I am an expressionist painter and my sketching is pretty much in the same style. I am uh, um, not interested in copying the, the real flower, which somebody who's doing uh, maybe botanical illustration would do, but to capture the feel, the, the emotion in, in the flower. And um, so notice um, that I am moving pretty fast. Yes, this is a, a, a speed painting um, um, about twice as fast as I paint, but uh, nevertheless, I don't sketch in pencil because I found that when I sketch in pencil, I tend to erase a lot. So this way, I just trust myself and just go on um, with, with the emotion, with my feeling, with, with my connection between the plant and the um, and the paper. As you notice, I decided to add a couple of hummingbirds and now I'm going to start putting color. I have some brushes, paper towel and water. I am using acrylics, but I am using a watercolor technique. So what I do, I wet the paper in the areas where I'm going to apply the paint and um, I am again looking for the overall um, experience that I have with this flower and the hummingbirds that I see here around the house and um, it's, it's amazing uh, how many, uh, how the hummingbirds here in, uh, in Ajijic are the smallest hummingbirds that I have ever seen. So um, I am starting with the uh, leaves. So I'm adding uh, uh, variations uh, of green. And I, the reason I did that and I didn't go for the flowers is because I wanted the water to just sit on the paper for a little bit and soak in. So when I put the, the paint, it doesn't just uh, bleed uh, totally wet in, into the wet water. So now I'm going to go for the flowers and as you see, I am um, using the brush the same way I used the Sharpie before. Um, I use it almost like a, a sketching tool. So very, very expressionistic. Um, it's, uh, um, I had, don't paint by numbers, right? It's a, it's a technique where you just draw the shapes and then you, you paint inside the shapes that you created. No, I don't do that. I just uh, um, almost ignore the shapes that I have done. I have painted in, uh, I have sketched and I just go, um, go for it. So I invite you to maybe give it a try and uh, see how it works for you. I have been painting for about 30 years and uh, I have um, studied architectural design first and then I 
um, went to School of Visual Arts in New York and uh, I graduated from there. Also, um, I went to Parson and I study art therapy. So whatever I do, I think that whatever I learn, it's, it's just uh, transpiring in all the paintings, in everything that I, I teach and I touch to, in my paintings. <clears throat> um, I do teach, I um, used to write curriculum and also taught at several colleges in the States. And here in Mexico, I am teaching workshops and classes. At this moment, with the pandemic, I am mostly teaching online and for my own uh, <clears throat> pleasure, I prefer to work uh, with individuals rather than groups. So if you are interested in learning how to draw or how to paint, um, I'll be happy to, to work with you on an individual basis. So um, now I am uh, adding some color to the hummingbirds and um, in everything I do, I take in consideration composition. And this is a second nature to me because uh, I've been working with it for so long. I think that many artists um, apply a, a good composition intuitively, so uh, they just place things in the right place, so to speak. The right place is that they have a visual balance and um, also they create some tension. So if everything is symmetrical, then the painting is boring. So we need to create some tension, some uh, um, uh, contrast and interest, either with, or with color or with shapes. So right now, for example, um, I really focus on the sketch. I didn't uh, use the entire paper, the entire page to, um, I didn't consider this that will be a, any a finished painting. So I uh, started wherever I started and, and move on from there. So probably this will fit in in a square if I am gonna close these shapes is going to be in a square. So now I'm adding some blue, um, some, some context. So if you imagine the hummingbirds flying um, and these beautiful flowers, orange flowers are um, in a huge bush, the size of, the size of a tree. And so I am um, incorporating the sky just to put them in a context. So after I, I let them dry actually for about five minutes and now I get back to it with the, um, uh, with the Sharpie to add some extra um, definition to the flowers and to the leaves. And I do it very uh, loosely. I don't, as I said, I don't stress over perfection. I am not interested in perfection. And painting realistically is great, but it's not, it's not who I am and where I am. So um, I, when I work with individuals, I encourage you to find a technique and a style that works well with your temperament. Um, for example, for me, painting something that is realistic will be actually very stressful because I am um, an impatient person. I like to have results fast and I like to capture the feeling, the emotion, the, the experience of the moment. So um, probably I am sitting in my yard and I'm watching the hummingbirds and they are constantly moving and the wind is moving the flowers. So this is pretty much the experience that, that I want to, to uh, illustrate. Um, so at some point I'm not looking anymore at the flower. I am just working with um, balancing color, balancing shape, adding depth. So I am adding some um, pen and ink uh, techniques 
in the leaves just to create extra dimension and um, without having anything realistic um, in the same time to have some some dimension to show that are some are forward and some are more in the back and also these uh, hummingbirds i just wanted to add a little bit more detail in the hummingbirds because they're so i just love them so much and i love painting them and um, if you have hummingbirds probably you if you have hummingbirds at your window or in your region probably you notice how uh, how much to me they have so much personality they are uh, so unique and that's that's what i want to uh, express when i draw and when i paint them and sometimes adding the uh, sketch on top of the um, painting um, i think it gives it more um, more life more freshness so um, I, if you want to learn how to draw, if you want to learn how to paint, um, um, contact me. You can contact me in uh, uh, below this uh, email. This I'm sorry, this uh, video, and I will respond to all the comments that uh, or requests or uh, questions that people have. Um, I also. Um, license my artwork and uh, you can find my my work on print on demand you're gonna see the um, the link below also it's a link to my website